Hello everyone, it's Mr Hancock here. How are you? Pause the video whilst you attempt these quiz questions to recap our previous learning about the causes of uneven development. Restart the video when you're ready to see the answers. I hope you didn't find those too tricky. If you got four out of four, then you're top of the class. Well done. Are you ready to start some new learning? Good. Then let's begin. In this video, we're going to look at the first of the two consequences of uneven development. What's known as the disparities in wealth and health. The term disparity is defined in the yellow box. This is an important term, so make sure you know what it means. Make sure you've got something to take notes and complete some activities. Don't forget to look out for these two symbols indicating reading and writing opportunities. Press pause while you write down the focus. The video is broken down into three key ideas. Take a moment to read them before moving on. The Caboodle Digital Textbook could be useful to you during this video. The access details are shown on the screen. If you are following along in the textbook, we'll be using pages 204 and 205. Press pause whilst you add the first key idea. What is the imbalance between rich and poor? What's interesting to note here is that wealth imbalances exist not just between countries, but also within the countries themselves. Cartoons similar to the one shown in figure A have been used in GCSE exam papers many times before. There's loads of geography in there, so have a really good look at it. Pause the video whilst you read the text and make your own revision notes. Remember not to copy word for word, instead transform the information into a format that makes your future revision as easy as possible. Restart the video when you're ready to tackle the first activity. In activity one, we get to use the cartoon in figure A. You should be looking for evidence of the causes and effects of the imbalance of wealth. See how you get on. Pause the video to write your response and then press play to see the mark scheme. Here's the mark scheme. If you need to improve your response, pause the video and go ahead. Remember, it's all about getting great revision notes. Press pause whilst you add the second key idea. How does uneven development lead to disparities in wealth? In this slide, we see an old friend come back, the gross national income, GNI. Look back in your notes if you need a refresher as to what this means. The bullet points offer some really useful ideas that might shock some of you. We've also got a horizontal bar chart on the right. As ever, study this carefully, paying special attention to the title, axes and the key. Pause the video to make the necessary notes and when you're ready to tackle the next activity, press play. Activities 2A and 2B both give you the chance to practice your graph interpretation skills. You won't need to write too much here. In fact, it's just the relevant regions from the y-axis. In reality, these sorts of questions are just simple maths questions, so there's no geographical knowledge or understanding. Pause the video to have a go, and then press play to see if you're correct. Here we go. Did you get both of those correct? For 2a, you needed to spot which regions had the yellow-green bars that were greater than the purple bars. And for 2b, you were looking for the proportionally greatest difference 
between the two colored bars, so India. Press pause while you add the third and final key idea, disparities in health. This slide moves us on to looking at disparities in health. There's quite a lot of information here, including the spider diagrams for low income countries and high income countries, and also an example based on a disease known as malaria. Hopefully, you'll be comfortable when interpreting the choropleth map in figure C. Remember the colours are explained in the key. Pause the video to read and make your notes and then restart. So we're using the choropleth map C for this activity. The task is made more demanding by the inclusion of two command terms, describe and suggest. Remember, describe requires you to write about what you can see, whereas suggest requires you to give what you think is a possible reason. Pause the video, attempt activity three, and restart to see the mark scheme. You won't have word for word what the mark scheme says, as this is a model answer. Hopefully, your response will be broadly similar. If you've used the word because in your answer, then the chances are that you've used the command term explain, and this would not be credit worthy. If you need to improve your response, take a moment to do so, and then resume the video. The final main activity is number four, and it uses our old favorite command term, to what extent? This means you must make a judgment I always recommend students start with their judgment statement and then follow it up with the evidence for them making that judgment. Have a go and see how you get on. Press pause and resume when you're ready. The content of this mark scheme is useful, but it really does need to make more of the initial judgment. If you're happy with your work, then let's move on. Here's another stretch yourself task. Remember these are optional, but strongly recommended for those students who have target grades of seven or higher. You will need the internet. Pause the video and restart it when you're ready to see the mark scheme. Otherwise, just let the video continue onto the practice question. This is a six mark practice question. Pause the video whilst you copy it down. The command term is suggest. I've put some help on the screen for you. Use the knowledge and understanding from this video to help you write your response and then resume the video to see the mark scheme. Remember, with six mark questions, there will be three levels in the mark scheme, basic, clear and detailed. Also, aim to spend around six minutes writing your response to ensure enough detail for that level three. Let's take a look at the mark scheme. The bullet points have been split into two distinct sections. Firstly is wealth, and then comes the health points. Read both sets of bullet points and then use the table on the right to determine where your response fits best. If you need to improve your response based on the bullet points, then now is the time to do so, pausing and resuming the video when you're ready. Okay, that brings us to the end of this video where we've looked at these three key ideas. If there's something you're still not sure on, then take time to go back through the video or reread the digital textbook. The next video brings this whole section of the specification to a close, as you can see by the red highlighted section on the screen. We're going to be learning about how uneven development leads to international migration. 
There's always loads about migration in the news, so look out for any relevant news stories before starting the next video. If you're reading ahead, then we'll be using pages 206 and 207. That's all for now. See you next time.